What's up guys, welcome back to Half Man Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, when it comes to Mac OS 12, we now have the next beta, which is Mac OS 12 beta 8. This update comes exactly one week after the release of beta 7. And so it seems like at this time that the 22 days it took for us to go from beta 6 to beta 7, those are days of the past, which is something that's good. So once we move on to weekly release cycles like you are seeing here, it means that we get quicker updates. And with quicker updates, this means that, you know, that we are going to be getting Mac OS 12 officially sooner than if, you know, we're going to stick to like a 22 day release cycle or a two week release cycle. It's great to see that Apple has moved on to like a weekly release cycle when it comes to Mac OS 12. And this also means that if we are going to be getting newer Macs, like people are saying, like sources and rumors are suggesting, then these are also going to be coming faster than anticipated. So that's great news. And this that I'm updating to, you can see that the update size for me on my 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro, the update size is exactly 1.98 gigs and I'm updating for Mac OS 12 beta 7. I'm using the developer profile. So if you are a public beta tester and you want to update, just give it some time. This update could be out tomorrow, like what Apple usually does. So keep an eye on it. And also if you're waiting for the full installer, keep an eye out for it also for tomorrow. That's when I expect maybe the public beta to come out or the day after. Now, when it comes to other softwares that Apple released today, since we know that this is not all that Apple released, they, they released quite a number of updates. And if you go to the Apple developer page here, you can see that they released macOS Monterey Beta 8. They released iOS as well as iPadOS 15.1 Beta 2 and they released watchOS 8.1 Beta 2 and finally they released tvOS 15.1 Beta 2. Now, most of these updates I do cover here at Halfman Half Tech. So I cover a wide range and variety of Apple software updates and tech content. So if that's something that interests you, a sub to the channel would really be helpful. Now, I've already updated my Mac, like I mentioned, to Mac OS 12 Beta 8. But before you can get all excited and go ahead and update your device, this is an update that I actually don't recommend because of the bugs and issues that I've already experienced. Now, I'm sure you can see that at this time my video is cropped in and this is because my external monitor is no longer being recognized by this Mac since I updated to Mac OS 12 beta 8. On beta 7, my SS monitor was being recognized, but now since I'm not in studio, my HP monitor is no longer being recognized. There's more issues that I'm going to be showing you, but at this time, let's go to the about this Mac section and see some of the software changes that came with this update. So right here, you can see the software version that we have and it's 21A55. Uh, 34d so this update now ends with a d as you can see at the end and previously on mac os 12 beta 7 we had an h so in a sense we took two steps in the positive direction now since it's a step forward it doesn't always mean that it's going to be more stable and beta i did post a video on my channel explaining to you and showing you some of the bugs and issues and crashes that i'm experiencing or i was rather experiencing on beta 7 you can see some of them here like how i was experiencing a blackout bag so my whole screen was sometimes blackout and Basically, I'm trying to prove this because just because 
we got a beta or a build number that's better than what we had previously that doesn't mean that it's going to be better than what we had before and if we go to see the uh, like software storage that we have here it just takes a moment to load we want to see how much like system storage or mac os storage is taking so as you can see here you can see that mac os is taking up 16.59 gigs which is very close to what i had on beta 7. now when it comes to new features and changes please don't update for the new features and changes because there isn't a ton that came with this update but there's a few uh some resolved issues that i would like to bring to your attention when it comes to the developer page so if you go to the release notes of this mac os monterey beta 8 and you go to some of the resolved issues I actually managed to find that there's 12 known issues mentioned in the release notes and there's only one resolved issue that has to do with visualization. So as you can see here, resolved in macOS Monterey 12 beta 8, attempt to install macOS Monterey into a VM no longer fails sporadically. Now VM, this is virtual machine. So if you were having issues with that when you're trying to install this into a virtual machine, this has been resolved in this macOS 12 beta 8. Now, that is the only logical change that came with this update. You can see that there's a lot of known issues when it comes to Xcode, video playback, Swift UI, Swift share play, Safari, Realty, Python, and so on. Even maps and networking and macOS recovery, all these have issues and bugs. So please, please, if you don't have to update to this macOS 12 beta 8, stay away from this update for it's highly unstable. Now, there's a new change that I would like to show you over on my Twitter. And shout out to Steve Moser over on Twitter for mentioning this. This is basically how um, iWorks looked before updating. So you can see how numbers keynote and pages used to look like before uh, they were updated today by apple this is something that was released to date you can always see this change without updating to mac os 12 beta 8 but it's just something that i thought i should mention so you can see numbers has like a, a bar and so on and that's the old icons but as you can see here on Twitter, let's just visit my profile and then I'll be able to show you the changes. So you can see that Steve Mosa noted some of these changes and you notice how they look like they have been around it edges or they've received some border backgrounds. And as you can see here, that's how they look before we used to have icons that were slightly different. So you can see this one, for example, how it used to look before. And this is the new one on the right hand side. You can see numbers here. You had like bars with colors, red, orange, green and blue, but here all the bars are white and so on and the background is now like a circular green background which is something that's good and also you can see keynote here that it has received a blue background and it's more of like you know shaped like what big Sur introduced when it came out now those seems to be the new features and new changes that came with mac os 12 beta 8 and also some iWorks updates there isn't a ton like i mentioned but there is something that we might know after some time since the previous mac os 12 beta 7 leaked the resolutions of the upcoming 14 and 16 inch Macs. so that is something that i've mentioned previously in the past i retweeted and shout out to steve moza once again for finding this so with time we might get to know what are the like resolution and screen sizes even with more details as we dig deeper into the code of mac os 12 beta 8 so give it some time and you'll be able to find uh, what's going on now when it comes to some of the issues that are still here with this update the first serious issue or bug that i experienced myself you can see i was in a zoom meeting here and my zoom actually crashed so it crashed in a way that um, displayed like a black section of my screen here and you can see you know my zoom I was using my mic and my camera was also on so 
you know the meeting went on it didn't crash and so on but you can see that you know it was sort of an inconvenience and the way to get it out i had to like close this desktop that you are seeing here so that is like a serious panic and crash when it comes to zoom i believe the same is true when it comes to like heavy usage applications like final cut pro and so on like i was experiencing on beta 7 so before you update if you need your mark absolutely for work or school or something like that don't update to this beta because it's highly unstable like beta 7 most of the issues that i was experiencing on beta 7 are very identical to uh, the ones that i'm experiencing here on beta 8 so watch out for this don't update for the new features or new changes because there isn't a lot actually and also like i mentioned my external monitor is no longer working unlike before on beta 6 and also if you enable like night shift mode and you connect an external uh, monitor or display what's happening is that it shifts and you know it's like it's it gets stuck in like a random switching to like night shift mode on off on off and dark mode on off that is a serious bug that i noticed it's almost as if your screen is flashing so that is an issue that i've experienced myself and so on and also there's issues when it comes to like i mentioned the scroll bar when zooming in and out like using the two fingers on your trackpad and so on there's also scrolling issues there's bluetooth issues there's airplay issues and quick time screen sharing issues also are present with this update so highly unstable i don't recommend it so many issues and bugs and when it comes to like performance and geekbench scores and so on in order not to make this video a long one i'll do that in a follow-up video but let's talk about a possible release date because it seems like apple is actually sticking to like weekly release cycles when it comes to this update so you can see here today that it's actually the 28th of september and next week on the 5th of october we might get like a beta 9 and then the week of the 12th a beta 10 and after that you know we could get a release candidate since mac os 11 big sir actually reached on beta 10 so i'm looking forward to somehow a release towards you know the middle of or the second half of october to the early first half of november and also that is going to go hand in hand with the new macs some countries have already sold out the 16 inch macbook pro so it could mean that you know new macs are coming very soon and when new macs come like sources and rumors are suggesting somewhere around mid october to early november and then this update could be released soon it's very hard to give an exact date but keep an eye out for this and as soon as i get an update i'll let you know in the description or i'll make a video and keep you posted over on my social media handles now other than that that's about it for me guys when it comes to mac os 12 beta 8 not a lot of new features or changes but a ton of bugs and issues so let's do our part and go into the feedback assistant app and report most of these issues that we are experiencing as they are very very many now that's about it for me stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video